Gunsmoke. Brought to you by L and M Filters. This is it. L and M is best. Stands out from all the rest. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Start walking. I'd be lucky to find you so near this cottonwood grove. Don't know what we'd have done otherwise. Oh, you'd have thought of something, Glick. Like what? Well, you ain't above shooting a man in the back, are you? You can make me mad talking like that, Digger. <laughs> that worries me a lot. You shut up. Oh, hurry up, Glick. Let's get this over We've with. We've been waiting on you, Pate. What's Robo looking so long-faced about? It's what I told you before. This ain't right. You're telling me it ain't right to hang a horse thief? It ain't right to hang nobody the way you're doing it. I don't hold with lynching. Hanging a horse thief ain't lynching. You can't even prove he's a thief. And what was he doing with our horses? I was camped. I didn't know nothing about your horses. I suppose they wandered up to you in the night, huh? I don't know how they got there. Yeah, we do. That ain't so, Glick. We don't know nothing of the kind. I've lost horses the same as you and Peyton. I don't like it any better than you do. But just because this man was camped down near a few head of yours... There's no proof he was stealing them. We're wasting time listening to you, Robo. If you don't like what we're doing, why don't you get out? All right. I'm going to get out. Now. You keep your mouth shut about this, too. Uh, you wouldn't dare say nothing, Glick. You better not. That noose looks kind of... Empty dangling there, Pate. Put his neck in it. You men are nothing but murderers. That's no way to go to your maker, calling people names. <laughs> now, get on your horse. Well, go on. What are you going to do? Hold the rope? Of course not. I'm going to tie it off to the trunk of the tree. Then we'll slap that horse out from under you. Get mounted now. How can I get mounted with my hands tied? Oh, I'll help you. Come on. There. Now take up the slack and tie that rope, Pete. I'll get our horse. Uh -huh. You might have the decency to wait and put a bullet in me. Bullets cost seven cents a piece, Digger. You're worse than I thought. That, that rope tight enough? You figure it. This it'll do. There. All set, digger. I ain't afraid. Wouldn't matter if you was, would it? Your horse, please. Get mounted. Okay. All right. I'll hit his horse and then let's ride off, huh? I got no stomach to watch a man hang. Jack, courage. Go on, Glick. Get it over with. Let's go, huh? I'm cutting 
Put you down, Digger. Now you can breathe. It wasn't long. It hardly passed out. There. Uh, air. Yeah. Uh, good. Let me get your hands under. Oh, Robo, you uh, come back. Uh, now you can sit up. Uh, feel okay? Uh, you was waiting. Uh, I circled back into them trees. I couldn't fight them, not the two of them. But I sure didn't aim to let them hang you. Yeah. I don't know how to thank a man for saving me. There's no need to. It's the truth, Ruby. It's the honest truth. I ain't a horse thief. I never thought you was, Digger. Look, we ain't but ten miles from Dodge. I'd be proud to buy a drink. All right, I'll go with you. I got something mighty interesting to tell you on the way. This is it, l and Filters It stands out from all the rest Miracle tip, much more flavor l and has got everything It's the best L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. L&M's got everything. Everything? Everything. Best flavor? L&M stands out for flavor. The Miracle Tip draws easy. Let's you enjoy all the taste. Best filter? L&M stands out for effective filtration. No filter compares with L&M's pure white Miracle Tip for quality or effectiveness. Best tobaccos? Highest quality tobaccos. Low nicotine tobaccos, L and M tobaccos, light and mild. Every way, L and M is best. Stands out from all the rest. How easy they draw. How mild they are. L and M is sweeping the country. It's America's best filter tip cigarette. Marshal Dillon showed up yet, Chester? He went in the office a minute, Robles. He said for you to sit down, he'd be right out. You tell him about Joe Digger? I told him about the lynching and how you cut him down. That all? I started to tell him the rest, but he was in a hurry. He said he'd hear it from you. It's bad, ain't it? Well, you're doing everything you can about it. No. I hate informing on people. Murder is worse. Here he is. Evening, Robo. Hello, Marshal. Chester told me about what happened. That was a fine thing you did, Robo. I don't hold with lynching, Marshal. No. And I don't hold with murder either. Now, what do you mean? He's going to kill him, and he says he don't care how he does it. This Joe Digger, you mean? That's what he said, Marshal. And he meant it, too. Well, you sure can't blame him much after what they've done to him. Where is he, Robo? I left him over at the Long Branch, Marshal. I don't want to come point him out to you. But he's a tall fellow. No beard. Where's a black Stetson? Uh-huh. I'll find him. Come on, Chester. Yes, sir. Are, uh, Glick and Pate in town, Robo? I ain't seen them, and I sure don't want to. No. You better keep out of sight for a while. I aim to, Marshal. Well, I 
don't see nobody in here like you described, Mr. Jones. Now, there's Kitty. I so ask her. Maybe he's already left town looking for Glick and Hank Pete. And then we'll have to ride out after him. And I hope he ain't left. Hello, Matt. Chester. Oh, Hello, Kitty. Kitty. Sit down and tell me who you're looking for. <laughs> How'd you know we were looking for somebody? I saw how you came in. Oh. Um, Kitty. Huh? Did you ever hear of Joe Digger? Not till the night, Matt. Well, you've been talking to him? Bill Robo brought him in. He went next door for some tobacco. He'll be back directly. Oh, good. I take it you know what happened. Yeah. And what are you doing here? Why aren't you out after Glick and Hank Payton? Oh, one thing at a time, Kitty. Well, if you don't believe it about Joe Digger now, you will when you see him. He's got a mark around his neck like a black snake. That's a horrible thing, Matt, to lynch a man. Yeah, it's about the worst thing I know. What about those two men? I mean, since they really didn't hang him. Well, they came close enough for me. Oh, there he is. Just came in. He's headed for the bar. You see? Oh, yeah. Uh, you stay here, Chester. Yes, sir. You, Joe Digger? Hmm? Uh, that's me. I, uh, hear you ran into some trouble today. Yeah, I seen you talking to Miss Kitty. Yeah, I came in looking for you. Before? I'm a marshal. Oh? Yeah, somebody tries to lynch a man, I want to know about it. <laughs> it's all over, Marshal. He didn't kill nobody. Now, you'd like for me to forget about it? Is that it? Nothing happened. I'm alive, ain't I? Well, you take it pretty easy, Digger. An ordinary man might be kind of mad. Ah, oh, they made a mistake, Marshal. They thought they was doing right. Oh? <laughs> Little rope burn ain't gonna hurt me. You're wasting your time lying to me, Digger. What? I came here to tell you to leave Glick and Pate to me. Which one you going after first, Marshal? So you can get the other one? They don't deserve a trial. They're gonna get one. And so will you if you kill either one of them. I've been lucky so far. Look, Digger, I know how you feel about this, but stay out of it. From now on, this is my business. You're denying me what's mine. That kind of thinking is going to lead you to the end of another rope. And it's not worth it. Oh, to me, maybe it is. Don't be a fool. Now, you think about it. Okay. I'll think about it. It's midnight now. And I'll think about it till tomorrow night. But by then, you better have me in jail, Marshal. Sure. Them are you. Well, I'll bet them blicks ain't even home, Mr. Dillon. Uh, there's smoke coming out of the chimney, Chester. Yeah, uh, dinner. It's not very likely Miss Gleck's going to feed the law today. Yeah, I suppose not. Well, let's leave him here. Hey, that horse of yours has got a loose shoe, ain't he, Mr. Dillon? Yeah, I'm going to have to fix it before we start back to Dodge. Providing Glick will lend you the tool. Well, he won't have much choice about it. Think he'll put up a fight? He might. Marshal Dillon. Chester, what you doing here? Well, aren't you going to ask us inside? Oh, sure. Come on in. The woman's done with dinner, but I'll tell her to find something for you. Don't bother. I, uh, want to talk to you. Eh? What about? You and Hank Pate. Me and Pate? Yeah, we'll go pick him up when we leave here. What do you mean? I'm taking you both to jail. 
Oh, now, wait a minute, Mort. Do I have to explain it to you? Well, it might help. You walk into a man's house and arrest him. He ought to know what it's about. Didn't Joe and Pate murder a man yesterday? What man? Joe Digger. I never heard of Joe Digger. Then you shouldn't go around lynching strangers. Huh. <laughs> well, that's what this is about. Well, I seen that fellow, Marshal. I was riding by there yesterday, and I seen him hanging. I don't know who did it. It sure wasn't me and Pate. Digger says it was. What? He says you and Pate lynched him. Oh. Robel. Robel told you. No, Robo cut him down. Digger's alive. Oh. What are you after us for? Attempted murder. You get at least 20 years, Glick, but it'll save your life. What do you mean? Digger's after you. And he's going to kill you if he gets a chance. I beat him here, and now I want to get to Pate's before he does. Oh, Pate's in Dodge today. Yeah, we better get moving. You're a prisoner, Glick. Good thing we got here before he put on his gun, Mr. Dodge. Yeah, keep an eye on him, Chester. I'm going to take my horse around to the barn and fix that shoe. Then we'll leave. All right, sir. Now, you just sit easy. All right, fellow, you come with me. We'll fix that shoe for you. <laughs> what happened, Chester? Where's Glick? Well, he ran out back. Towards the barn. Oh, we better stop him before he gets on a horse. Come on. Yes, sir. Now, you've been hit, Chester. Well, he got me in the arm. His wife hollered to him in the kitchen, and he went to the door, and she slipped him a gun. He snapped off a shot at me and ran out back. And she stood in the door so that I couldn't shoot. How's your arm? Oh, it just tore up a little. Yeah. She must have stood out there in the kitchen and heard everything that was said. I never thought about her aiming to help me. Wait a minute. All right, the barn door is open. Are we going to walk right up there? No. No, we can't do that. We'll wait here. You get on behind that rain barrel. Uh, might as well. I sure ain't much use, sir. I hope there ain't a back door to that barn. Well, he's seen us. Don't try to stop me, Marshal. It's no use to run, Glick. Stop, Glick. Stop, I said. Got him. Yeah. You hit him right in the head, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, he ducked down. I was shooting for his middle. How come he rode straight for you? Why didn't he go the other way? Well, he knew our horses were out front. He wanted to get to him before we did. Uh, there's one man that won't go to jail. Oh, here's his wife. He's dead, ma'am. No. I'm sorry I had to do it. Uh, Ms. Glick. Uh, ma'am, if... if... Come on, Chester. <laughs> Mr. Dillon, we, we can't go off and leave her like this. And I'm going to dig a grave for him. And we'll just have to leave her. Our Hank Pate won't go to jail either. <laughs> Got L and M. 
I've got L and M. I've got L and M. And L and M's got everything. Best filter. No filter compares with L and M's pure white miracle tip for quality or effectiveness. Best flavor. The miracle tip draws easy, lets you enjoy all the taste. Best tobaccos. Highest quality tobaccos. Low nicotine tobaccos. L and M tobaccos. Light and mild. Today, buy L and M. It's sweeping the country because it's America's best filter tip cigarette. Yes, today, why don't you get L and M? Because L and M's got everything. This is it. L and M filters. L and M's got everything. It's the best. Man. Yeah, Doc says a couple of weeks and I can start using it again, Mr. Jones. Ah, uh, good, Chester. Providing you keep it in that sling, Chester. Well, I will, Doc. I'll be real careful. Is it all right, Doc? Oh, it looks clean, Matt, but I'll change the dressing every day for a while so as I can watch it. You get the horses put on, Mr. Jones? Yeah, I took care of them. Mm-hmm. Then we'd better start looking for Hank Pate. It's near midnight, Chester. You better go to bed. I'll find him. No, sir, I'm going with you. I know I ain't much help, but I can look one place while you're looking another. <laughs> well, that's up to you. Up to him? <laughs> I've heard of cases where this sort of thing was up to the doctor, not the patient. Why well, ain't no patient, doc? Oh, well, maybe you'll begin to feel more like one when I give you my bill. You gonna charge me for pouring that smelly old stuff on my arm then wrapping it up with a couple old rags? Your bill's just gone up one dollar, Chester. Oh, no, Doc, I didn't mean it that way, honest. But if you're gonna You better charge shut her... up and come with me, Chester. <laughs> It'll be cheaper. Yes, come sir, on. I'm, I'm coming, Mr. Dunn. I sure am. We'll see you later, Doc. Uh, is there gonna be a shooting there? Well, I don't know, Doc. Uh, tell you what, you better not go to bed for a while yet, huh? I'll be here. Uh, Chester, hmm? doesn't your arm even hurt? Well, sure it does. But that helps keep me awake. You know, I don't think it hurts at all. You'd be yelling your head off. Well, it does hurt, too. Terrible. You just don't realize how brave I am. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get you to go to bed, Chester. I know you are. Where will we look first? Yeah, the Alifragansa's closest. I guess if anything had already happened, Doc would have heard of it, wouldn't he? Yeah. Maybe if we run into Joe Digger first, you ought to lock him up. Temporary, like. Yeah, I aim to. Of course, Pete might have left town already and gone home. Uh, they told me his horse is still in the stable, Chester. I guess he's not planning to go home tonight. You'll be disappointed if he is. Hey, that was in the alpha again, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. Look there. There's Joe Digger, Mr. Dillon. He just come out. Yeah, you stay here, Chester. Yes, sir. Digger, you're too late, Marshal. Did you do that shooting? I waited. I told you I would. You waited for what? To kill Hank Pate. It's after midnight, five minutes or so. I figured you wasn't going to do nothing about him. Now you figured wrong. Were both those your shots? Sure, they were. I didn't even wait for him to draw. A man like that don't deserve a chance. You should have let the law decide about that, Digger. I'd have arrested him. He'd have gone to jail. And why hadn't you done it? I was busy. Busy doing what? Trying to take Glick. Trying? Where is he? He's dead. I guess I beat you to him. Well, I... You didn't beat me to Hank. Pete, Marshal. For your sake, I wish I had. Digger, you're under arrest for murder. No. 
That ain't fair. I warned you. No. Did he try to draw on you, Mr. Dillon? I couldn't see him. Yeah, I tried, Chester. Maybe I should have let him. Yeah, but then you'd have had to shoot him. Yeah, I know. But this way, like I told him, I, I probably just saved him for the end of another rope. <laughs> And now our star, William Conrad. Thank you, George. Mild and plenty quick on the draw. That's L&M for you. And the pure white miracle tip on the business end of every L&M filters out everything but the taste of the world's finest tobaccos. All you have to do is pick up a carton of L&Ms and you'll see what I mean. L&M stands out from all the rest. Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Ray Kemper. Featured in the cast were Joseph Kern, John Daner, Lawrence Dobkin, and James Musser. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Stop! Start smoking with a smile with Chesterfield. Smiling all the while with Chesterfield. Put a smile in your smoking, just give them a try. Light up a Chesterfield, they satisfy. Put a smile in your smoking. Buy Chesterfield. So smooth, so satisfying. Chesterfield.